Since the foundation of Copenhagen Suborbitals in 2008, the organization has developed, manufactured and flown two space capsules, the Tycho Bra space capsule and the Tycho Deep space capsule. Additionally, a couple of boilerplate mock-up space capsules have also been manufactured. The development of the space capsule which will carry our astronaut up to and slightly above the Kármán line and into space has now begun, based on the experience gained from our prior space capsule work. So we've made these uh, two capsule launches before, so we've, we've had some practice in, in building these capsules. And it's definitely been worthwhile. So right now we're doing the last of the capsules. The one capsule that we, we're we going to send up into to space with one of our friends on board. Uh, organs rattling on the way up from that engine going all out down at the rear end of the speaker rocket. Um, sky already black at this point in time outside the viewports. Uh, and suddenly everything becoming very quiet uh, when the main valves in the engine section shut off the propellants and weightlessness starts here everything starts floating around inside the cabin a thump when the capsule detaches from the main booster and then everything just goes very quiet your breath your heartbeat and the slight humming of machinery in the capsule as you gently sail towards the Kármán line and above, looking down at the world from, from space. The space capsule which will be lifted by the Speaker rocket to an altitude of over 100 kilometers or 62 miles will contain all systems necessary to enable it to not only bring the astronaut into space but also bring him or her safely back to Earth. So uh, we are now well on the way with the uh, first one-to-one -one scale uh, boilerplate uh, model of our capsule that is going to be used on a, on a speaker rocket. Uh, and it's uh, very exciting to see uh, how big it actually ends up becoming. Uh, it's one thing to look at, um, at the design on a computer screen, but to see it actually in, in full, real life like this uh, makes it quite exciting. Copenhagen Suborbitals have been working for four years on developing, manufacturing and testing the bi-liquid rocket engine BPM-5. Our mid-sized rockets, Nexo-1 and Nexo-2, which are powered by the BPM-5 engine, have been developed and manufactured concurrently during this four-year period. The Nexo-1 rocket was launched in summer 2016 and the Nexo-2 rocket will be launched four to five months from now during spring of 2018, as soon as the weather and the water temperature in the Baltic Sea permits. The purpose of the Nexo rockets, apart from complementing the development of the BPM-5 engine, is to support development of systems for telemetry data, radio communication, video streaming, engine control, recovery and more. Here, at the start of 2018, we have an established knowledge base as all these support systems have been completed in their first fully operational iteration. We still face the task of developing the large speaker rocket, which will be 13 meters or 43 feet tall, a rocket engine delivering a thrust of at least 100 kilonewton, and a space capsule. The first simple but full-size model for the space capsule is what we show here.
We're going to use this particular model to uh, get an idea about how the astronaut is, uh, is going to be situated, positioned, uh, and thereby uh, giving a good idea about where the, the windows uh, and the hatch uh, is going to be. So this is like a second pioneering age for space. Um, we are basically doing what, what others did 50 or 60 years ago with simple technology and, uh, and things that these days have become affordable. But it's still a pioneering age of going back to space, except this time uh, we're the amateurs doing this and not the space agencies. We'll follow the development work on the space capsule mock-up as the seat, the entry and exit hatch, viewport and many other features are researched, manufactured and fitted. During this work, the team will learn and gain the experience needed to fabricate the flight model of the space capsule for the speaker rocket. Later we may even be able to show the spoiler plant mock-up perform a series of drop tests like the drop tests we performed with the Tycho Deep Space Capsule back in 2012. Remember that Copenhagen Suborbitals is a non-profit, all-volunteer project and we rely on donations from people all over the world to continue our work. So please go to our website and sign up as a Copenhagen Suborbital supporter. You can click on the link right here. We need your help to build rockets and to produce videos and to continue our work towards putting a man in space. Thank you.